Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create an Endeavor OS bootable USB drive. Now Endeavor OS is Arch without the hassle. Essentially you get to the desktop environment of your choice and you can install all the packages from the Arch user repository and it's easy to install other applications and it's got a good set of default applications to start with. So why wouldn't you create an Endeavor OS USB? So here we are on the Endeavor OS Dot com website so go to endeavoros.com insert a blank USB into your USB drive and click on the download link you want to find the mirror that's closest to you so I'm going to choose the one from Germany and I'm going to click on this download ISO here and Endeavor will start to download in the top right corner whilst that's doing that you can head over to the Belina Etcher website uh, all you have to do is type etcher.belina.io and click on download etcher there's various options available I'm going to be showing you the one for Windows all you have to do is click on the download link here and etcher will download in the top right hand corner when etcher and endeavor have finished downloading you can close down your web browser and run the setup to run Belina etcher what you need to do is you need to go open up a Windows Explorer and head on over to your downloads folder and you'll see the setup icon here so double click on that you can close the explorer window now it should start automatically but if it doesn't click on the icon on the desktop and you should get this screen here all you need to do now is click flash from file choose endeavor os click on select target and choose your usb drive Make sure it's the correct one uh, look at the size that's usually a, a good indicator then click on select and click on flash the image will now start to write to the usb drive and you've got an eta there of how long it's likely to take uh, this can take about a few more minutes than it says there uh, but come back in about 15 to 20 minutes and it should be complete when Endeavor has finished writing to the USB drive, you'll see this message here, flash completed. You can now close this down. And what you want to do is insert the USB drive into the computer that you want to put Endeavor OS onto. If it's the machine you're using, leave the USB drive in and restart your computer. And you'll need to press the relevant function key to bring up the boot menu. This differs from manufacturer to manufacturer, uh, but it's usually either escape, F9, F12, F7, it usually flashes up on the screen really quickly um, but um, try various function keys until you find the one you want or you can always google it to find out which function key it is for your particular manufacturer when the computer boots up i press the relevant function key in my case f7 and you can see it's entering the boot menu now and you've got a number of drives you might only have one or two um, but I've got quite a few so in this case I am going to pick my USB drive so all I have to do is use the arrow keys to move down and then press enter and you can see a boot menu appears and I can just choose Endeavor OS now this isn't going to install Endeavor OS don't worry this is not going to change your computer in any way whatsoever at this stage this is just going to boot into the live image and it's as if you're running a different operating system well, you are running a different operating system, but it's not affecting your Windows in any way whatsoever or what, whichever operating system you're currently running. This is just going to run it in memory. So now you can see that Endeavor Live has loaded and you can do um, plenty of things. You can, of course, install Endeavor and there's a guide at the end of this video. Uh, if you continue watching, that will be linked. Uh, if you decide that you don't like Endeavor, uh, there's also a guide at the end showing you how you can put multiple Linux ISOs on one USB drive and boot into whichever one you want. So you can try out a number of different distros. Um, but as you can see, Endeavor looks really nice and you can go through the menus, you can use Firefox, you can connect to the internet, you can do most of the other things. The only thing that's worth mentioning, if you do install any software in Endeavor in the live environment, it will get wiped when you reboot because it is only all in memory. And that is the end of the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Everyday Linux User.